Hey, what's up, everyone? Sean here with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, haven't done one of these in about a week and a half, so I figure it's uh, high time that we talk about it. Since I know uh, a good fair amount of you uh, will be out there picking up some straps of bills from the bank, right? Um, and that's, that's where you're going to be uh, finding a lot of the really neat, fancy serial numbers we're going to talk about here today on this little report. Um, as you can see on this first note here, uh, this one is a sale from Saturday. So a couple days ago, 6.33 p.m. Uh, so we're gonna start things out here with this one. This is the earliest one out of the 25 or so that we're going to address today. So um, before we get started, uh, I wanted to take a moment to um, to acknowledge the uh, the passing of uh, Mr. Matthew Perry, who uh, obviously went through a lot of uh, rough times, hard times, back in his early days with addiction and struggling with it. Um, just wanted to let you know that, you know, at all one point we've all been there. And uh, whatever it may be, um, just know that, that you guys have help, you know. Um, I think Matthew would would probably say the same thing. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's supported a lot of people that have gone through, um, uh, you know, addiction or life and, um, you know, uh, just want to let you know that you're not alone. So, um, rest in peace to, uh, to Mr. Perry, um, watched him a lot when I was a teenager. Of course, you know, uh, he, he was, uh, he was one of the heartthrobs out there. Um, and uh, not to mention, um, you know, the, there's uh, there's a few folks out there um, that are dealing with loss currently. Um, you know, um, the, I'm not going to name names, but on my whatnot stream, there is uh, a few folks on there uh, that have undergone life changing surgery. And um, uh, one individual ended up losing his sister um, to a terrible, terrible um, disease. And, uh, you know, I, I want to let you guys know that, um, you know, I'm thinking about you guys, you know, and, um, I'm sorry for all your losses. So yeah, we're, we're kind of in a world with a lot of, a lot of grief and all that. And, uh, you know, I, I'm a small fish in a very big pond. I wanted to, um, you know, at the very least leverage a little bit of my platform to, uh, let everyone know that. I love you guys, you know, and uh, that that everything is going to be okay. It always is, and um, you know, th thank you for for all the support for me. Um, you know, I, I struggle th uh, through you know food addiction. Obviously, I, I've been it's been like that since since I was a kid, and uh, you know, um, just seeing people that are suffering and going through. Uh, going through that, you know, I, I'm with you, you know. Um, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get on with the show. So uh, all the notes that we're going to talk about today all sold on eBay within the last couple of days. Uh, they're all raw, ungraded, all right? Keep the money in your pocket. Don't grade these uh, unless it's like one of those like top two tier type fancy serial numbers, ladders, um, solids, eight in a row solids. You know, things like that. And uh, as long as the um, the grade supports it, you know, yeah, go ahead and grade it. PCGS, banknote, PMG, whatever. Um, and uh, in the in these listings, uh, we're kind of just going to, you know, dive through what makes these valuable, uh, address it, talk about how much they sold for. Um, if there's shipping in there, uh, I'm not going to talk about it. We'll, we'll just assume that, you know, each one either does charge shipping or it's all free. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and start out with this 2009 ACE here, uh, which is a pretty nice binary. Uh, there are six of a kind fours and a couple of ones in there. So a binary, um, I guess by, by non-traditional definition is any two numbers in a serial number and that's it. Um, so the note right here uh, ended up selling for $28. On Saturday, 20 bid strong. Uh, they even threw in the coolness factor, which is a, a percentage that you could pull 
off of a website called mycurrencycollection.com. Some people do use it. Some people, they don't necessarily, you know, take stock in that number. Um, but there you go. There's your note that did sell. Uh, quite a visually appealing note with all the fours in there. Uh, Grade-wise, we're probably looking eh, kind of like a low-end VF. Uh, it does have some staining on the reverse, but still... You know, not too bad of a sale at $28. Uh, I would take that all day long for that. Uh, we have another binary here. Uh, this time a 2009 Ace featuring zeros and threes. Okay, not too bad. Again, we have six, uh, six of a kind threes, a pair of zeros. This one also sold Saturday night for $22.50 with 11 bids. Um... They put the word radar in there, okay, which is a type of fancy, and this one is not a radar. Um, I would tell folks, you know, put the relevant type of keywords in the listing um, because people will type in those type of keywords. You know, fancy serial number is exactly what I typed to be able to pull all of these listings on eBay. So you could do the same at any given time. Um, fancy serial number should be the three words that you should auto include into every listing. And um, I like what this particular seller does is that they do a close up of the like one side of the note, whether it's a right or left side with a serial number and then a full front, a full back and then bam, you're good to go. So $22 and 50 cents here. Um, when we look at the full, full note, uh, you know, in its entirety, this one is actually in much better condition than the previous note. I would probably put this one at about XF condition. And uh, this one is particularly neat. I actually like this one. Um, I like how they wrote down on uh, little um, post-it notes some extra information that otherwise does not fit into the listing title. Uh, so near solid seven of kind twos. Uh, so we have seven twos in full display here. They're not in a row, which is unfortunate. They, they sell for a little bit more. Seven of a kind, not too bad. You do have that interrupter five that's right there in the middle of the serial number. Um, one total bid for 85 bucks. All right, so that this right here is a little bit of price protection. Uh, it's sold at 9.03 in the morning, which is a little bit earlier than what I like to see uh, notes sell for. And... Um, Eighty-five dollars uh, was the sale price, and um, you could have just easily started this one at ninety-nine cents and just let it bid up uh, however you want. Um, and you know it, it would probably end up selling for pretty close to what this one did, but eighty-four ninety-nine and starting the price at that amount protects the price. So that way, you're not willing to accept anything less. You know, it's a it's a wise move when you're selling banknotes and th any collectible. Um, you know, price protecting is uh, is pretty good. Uh, so brand new BEP pack fresh. I like to see that. Uh, very crispy, uncirculated note. There's even a picture of all the BEP straps. Congratulations, and it's easy as that. I mean, you guys, if you want things like this, and they have BEP. Uh, printed all over the little paper uh, bands is just go to the bank and ask for brand new straps of BEP notes. All right, I've done that. They have them when they order them. Uh, oftentimes they'll rip the band off and then send them through the counter. You could elect not for that to occur. But if you wanted to order, say, a, a full brick, call ahead first before you do that. Um, it's just going to be easier. Plus I love looking through these just for the, uh, a random star note, um, that ends up, you know, being worth quite a bit of money. All right. Next one that we have here, a little bit worse for the wear, but we have a 2017 ACE, uh, featuring another binary serial number, eights and zeros. We have six eights in this one, a couple of zeros. This one sold for $29.99. Uh, as a buy it now. Uh, it's pretty ragtag. I would say this is probably VG, maybe a fine, fine 12. Uh, but there you go. Uh, zeros, eights, and uh, sevens are three of the most popular selling individual numbers. Um, 
you know, eights are lucky, sevens are lucky as well. You know, there's a lot of parallels to like casino play and all that stuff and hitting three sevens on the pay line and bam. Um, so, but eights by itself are very lucky uh, in places like China, you know. Um, and oftentimes when you have notes like this and they get bought out, usually you're going to have to send them across the way. Uh, so yeah, there, there are folks, uh, overseas that buy these. So don't be surprised. If you have one of these, you sell it. It ends up going to a place like Thailand or China. Uh, here's a 2003 a, uh, ACE, this one also featuring zeros and eights, but, uh, more zeros than the previous note. Uh, buy it now listing 59.99. Again, this is more price protection, just ensuring you're getting an amount of money that, that you deserve by uh, doing a buy it now listing or doing an auction and setting a, a floor to it that's acceptable, acceptable to you in the event that say you only get one bid, you're comfortable with the sale, right? It's a win-win. 2003 Ace, and uh, when we look at this one, it's a beautiful note. It looks crispy fresh and uh, quite a desirable number at that with the zeros and eights. So very nice there. Uh, here's a first look at a uh, series of numbers, zero, sixes, and nines. Um, nines, when you flip them upside down, look like sixes, and sixes, when you flip them upside down, look like nines. Therefore, they call this a flipper note. Um, it's also a trinary, which is any three numbers on a serial number. It used to be that these things really didn't catch a whole lot of desirability in the market. Um, but these days, there's true trinaries, which are zeros, ones, and twos. I believe we have one note like that in here for today's uh, report. Uh, but pretty cool note. Uh, again, it's unassuming, you know, with all the uh, the nines, zeros, and sixes, and all that. At first uh, glance, it just looks like a, a trinary, all right? Um, $11.50, 13 bids is uh, how many collected there and um you know another kind of like mid-level vf vf 25 you know uh, does have some uh, circulation wear here is uh another binary zeros and nines and you can even say it's a flipper as well because when you flip the the note upside down the uh the nine still reads correctly as sixes um, because the the type design is still the same for both those numbers. Uh, so this one here is a 2009, a little bit older, $1 bill, $14.51 through two bids. And uh, again, we have another VF note here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see there, uh, VF seems to be that grade that is more acceptable in today's market. Um, anything less than that, you're gonna really see the prices drop quite a bit. We have a pair of notes all bearing the same uh, same numbers, and they're both the same same numbers on each serial number. Uh, they're just different uh, blocks. You have an IA block and an FD block on each of these notes. Uh, as far as I can tell, they might be both 2017s. Um, they are four-digit repeater binaries. So triple three zero, triple three zero on each one of them. I think this is pretty cool. Sixty-one dollars, twenty-six bids. Uh, the notes by themselves probably sell for about 30 a piece, so it's not like there's a substantial premium here. Uh, but there you go. Uh, it might be 2013 as the other note. So one's a, a 2013 series, the other one's a 2017, and you can tell just right off the rip, two different uh, signatures, or four different signatures, rather, for the treasurer and secretary. Uh, pretty cool little duo there. Two for the price of one. Here's a 2013 Series Ace. Uh, a lot of $1 bills this week, and that's good. Uh, what we have here is another binary, twos and fours. And uh, it's also district number four, too, so that's even extra cool. Uh, $12.27, eight bids this time around. And, uh, yeah, pretty decent. Again, uh, I would say low NVF, VF20, 25. Uh, is where we're at there on that. Uh, here's our first six in a row, featuring six ones in a row on this 2017 Ace. How about a $21.50 sale with seven bids? And when we get in a little bit closer, you're going to find that this one's in phenomenal shape. Uh, it looks crisp and circulated. 
All right, so that's a very nice high grade collector note. Um, I've seen uh, I've seen six in a row ones sell for quite a bit more than this one. So uh, you know maybe a few people were asleep at the wheel when this one ended up popping here um, Sunday night. So aside from that, a really neat looking note, very nice high grade. Uh, here is a four digit low serial number on a star note as well. Uh, buy it now rip 15 bucks on this one dollar bill and uh, as far as date wise this one's a 2017 and yeah i see the reason why this one sold for too cheap is it has some annotative writing there right uh, to the left of george washington's portrait which does affect the value uh, because it's a grade condition thing uh, it's technically a details grade or a uh, um uh, I guess what they call uh, a, a net, a net grade for it. Uh, but pretty neat. Uh, 15 bucks for that one. Uh, here's one. This is a little bit better. Three digit serial number on a star note, 625. Uh, generally, I would say anything with five leading zeros, you're going to see the, the premiums go up considerably. Um, four digit serials are okay, you know. They're still going to be in that ten to twenty dollar kind of range uh, as far as value goes, uh, but this is where you're going to see it go up a lot more. Uh, Forty one dollars here, five bids, and uh, this one a little bit circulated. You could see a, a little faint center fold there, but otherwise, a pretty nice note. Uh, call it XF, maybe AU on this one, um, and again. Uh, any sort of fancy serial number that's accompanied with a star, which is a replacement note, uh, generally has a 10-20% um, higher value in the market compared to one without. Uh, here we have a um, actually a, a neat little oddity. It's a trinary. It's twos, threes, and fours, but it's a step-up ladder type trinary. Um, and they're all grouped together. You have a couple of twos, four threes, and then a couple of fours. So two, three, four in order uh, ended up garnering $17 in um, for the note, 16 bids. Uh, pretty neat. I, I mean, I, I like hybrids like this. Um, I mean, it's not a true ladder, but because the numbers are uh, uh, sequential going up, um, that kind of gives it some extra zing factor to it. Um, I see what looks to be a little bit of circulation wear, not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, this one probably is like an XFAU note, um, so quite desirable just on grade alone. Four-digit repeater this time around on a $5 bill, 2013, and uh, this one sold for $15.90. So keep in mind... Um, when you're looking for these type of notes, you want to focus in on the lower denominations because once you creep higher into like fives, tens, twenties, you know, fifties, uh, whatever the face value is, is going to be your net cost of ownership of the note. So for a note like this, sure, you sold it for $15 and 90 cents. That's, you know, equates to $10, at 90 cents in, uh, in gross profit. This is before fees and shipping and stuff. If it was a $1 bill, that actually goes up to $14.90. So this is kind of like a lower end kind of comparison here. Um, but it means a whole lot more if we're talking about $20 bills, 50s, hundos, things like that. Uh, but this one here is four digit repeater. So 0485 repeated twice on there um pretty well circulated fine 15 it's got a little stain there not sure what that is here is a uh, another binary on a 2017 dollar bill 14 dollars 95 cents buy it now okay and this one features fours and fives on the serial number and again another vf note with some circ wear uh pretty cool one here binary repeater on this one so triple one three triple one three on this five dollar bill uh they ended up selling for 25 dollars not too bad uh repeaters and radars traditionally are categorized uh, on the hierarchy ladder of fancies at toward the bottom um, there are a lot more 
four-digit four repeaters and radars that you could find in a full 96 million run of a certain block, whatever that may be. Uh, dollars, two dollars, five dollar bills, tens, things like that. And um, you know, uh, they, they have they have decent value if the notes are attractive. And this one is a binary, so you only have ones and threes in there, which makes it even better to look at. Uh, otherwise, if this had like one six three eight repeated twice, it's not nearly as attractive. It's more uh, more messy looking. Uh, it probably sell for around ten bucks. You know, that's kind of the the, the difference maker between one and the other. Uh, certainly don't throw it back or spend it. It's still worth some money. Uh, here's a first uh, look at a true trinary. How about a $50 sale, guys, on this $1 bill featuring zeros, ones, and twos uh, in descending order. So it goes twos, ones, and zeros. Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool. I'm glad these are uh, are getting a lot more interest um, and we could thank guys like Sam from Kingdom Currency, who uh, uh, who helped kind of wake everybody up to uh, uh, to really making trinary notes very interesting by introducing true trinaries, which are zeros, ones, and twos, whereas true binaries are zeros and ones. So it makes sense. So uh, really nice sale on that one there. Uh, we have uh, this one called. This is probably one of the crazier listings in a while uh, because it's sold for a really good amount of money in regular auction, and it's that's not very traditional for birthday notes. Usually, these things you uh, they have a very limited um, um, kind of collector base because you have to find someone that wants this specific date, and they'll they'll buy it. Um, I, I like these as buy it now listing types. I usually put them off for like twenty four ninety nine free shipping or twenty nine ninety nine. You know, depends on what it is and grade. You know, certainly plays a factor. But this one was organically bid up to fifty one dollars with three bids, and it reads August twenty second, nineteen ninety eight. So um, it's the Western Way Western Way calendar type of uh, reading where it's two two digits for the month two digits for the day, four digits for the year, and it's a star note too. So that's like extra brownie points on this one, and I could see why it sold for 51. But I, I'm um, yeah, I'm kind of shocked because usually the, these notes sell very well as buy it now. Um, again, it, you, you could sell it immediately, or it might be something that you're going to sit on for a month or two, you know, until that one person that maybe they have a daughter or a son that was born on August 22nd, 1998, you know, um, me, it has more meaning for them. All right. So here's our, uh, next six in a row, this time fours on there. And, uh, this one is a 2017 dollar bill. How about $12 and 25 cents? Again, it falls in that 10 to $20 range for, uh, six in a row, six of a kind, uh, and the condition says bid, 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 times like 15. Uh, so 12.25 here, and uh, we see the condition of the note. Uh, looks to be VF, VF30, 35, pretty nice. Um, our lowest serial number of the week has to be serial number 61, which is what we see here. On this $2,013 bill, again, if you're not looking at your bills, you don't know what you're throwing away, right? This is a great example of that. $119.50 with 28 bits on this note that otherwise is pretty well circulated. This thing is about a VF20 right here. So, um, you know, that low serial number is attractive. Uh, you know, someone maybe that was born in 1961 might want this, you know, for a relative or whatever. It's just an overall really cool, fancy serial number type note and very desirable. So I like seeing that. Here's another low serial number, a three digit, uh, but also a binary. So you have that one lonely four and fortunately it's in just the right spot. Um, zeros and fours, $200 sale and it's a star note. Uh, this one is a 1969, but date is irrelevant. It would still sell if it was a 2017, 2021 note. 
it doesn't matter. So $200 sale here. Uh, and this one is pretty nice. It's in really nice shape. And I love that serial number. That's pretty cool. Uh, look at that. It's a typed on label. So you know it's old. This one was probably typed back in the 80s or whenever. Uh, so again, typewriter type of labeling. That's pretty cool. And uh, we do have a few notes to kind of round things off of that, that were uh, best offer accepted notes. Uh, so they were originally listed as a certain buy it now type price. You're free if you're free to put in whatever offer in there and it's up to the seller if they want to accept it or not. So we have uh, four of them. We're going to use a website called 130 point to dictate how much these notes have sold for. Starting out with this binary repeating threes and eights. Uh, rather rough condition here uh, on this $2,009 bill. We can see that it's uh, maybe a fine 15 on the best of days, but uh, 130 point is a website that you could use to track the best offer offers on the notes. So search eBay sales. And this is a website that's generally used for sports cards, but it works just as well for coins and currency. Uh, so I have it copied and pasted on the search line, but I also want to take out all of the um, kind of special characters because it doesn't read it too well. Let's go ahead and do the parentheses as well because you never know. And then let's go ahead and submit and see where we're at. All right, so there's something else there. Oh, another one of these squigglies. There you go. Take out the asterisk and try it one more time. Nope. Oh, uh, let's see, eights. That probably does it. So thirty nine ninety nine. It ended up selling for thirty bucks. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, well done there on that one. Here's our next one. Another thirty nine ninety five. Uh, birthday note. So here's a birthday one, June six nineteen seventy six. All right. So let's go ahead and see where this one ended up landing. Uh, the note is in pretty good shape, you know, VF 30 ish type grade. Same, same thing here. Let's go ahead, copy and paste it in this field, hit submit and it should be the top line item. Uh, there it is. And this one ended up selling for, uh, let's call it 20 bucks. All right. Which falls in line to how much these are worth. All right. Nothing uh, too crazy there. Uh, scrambled mixed ladder or broken ladder or whoever, however you want to put it. Okay, originally eighty dollar um, asking price, and uh, again, one of my pet peeves: the orientation of the note in the listing. You can actually use the uh, um, the editing tool on eBay as you're listing these to rotate all the notes, uh, so that way they're oriented correctly and we're not trying to decipher one or the other or cock our head sideways and you know give ourselves a herniated disc uh so it's one through eight and it's all kind of mixed up on the serial number so it's five three four seven six eight two one um and let's see how much this one sold for and this is this is a type of fancy that i haven't really cared too much about over the years and uh, apparently they have um woken up a lot of collectors into some sort of desirability factor. There is a cult following essentially for these. Uh, so it's a second line item here. Uh, let's see, because it's $80 and you know, $45 and 87 cents, uh, kind of a strange one there, but yeah, that's the uh, sell price for the broken ladder. So do pay attention to that. And uh, finally, our last one here is a, uh, a super repeater. Three nine repeated four times on the serial number. Pretty nice. It's a uh, $19.99 bill, but again, it doesn't matter what year. Um, they all seem to sell pretty similarly. $375 asking price. Let's go ahead and see where we're at on this one. And that is the final note of the report for today. <laughs> So uh, again, I'm gonna just continue the tradition of doing this once a week. Uh, I feel like that's all we need to do to kind of keep you guys refreshed on the market as a whole. As you can see, it's very active um, from birthday notes to all of the various 
fancy serial numbers that are quite uh, progressive today in the market. $300 for that super repeater, and they use that keyword term in there very well. All right, well, that's it, guys. That's the fancy serial number uh, market outlook. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. It was a lot of fun talking about this. It's a great time to get into this as we have like an influx of cash uh, going through the banks right now. All fresh material, 2021s are being printed right now, um, which began all the way back in March around that time period. Uh, so there's fresh stuff to find out there. And it's going to be a way for each and every single one of you to bring home some extra cash for the holidays. So why not do this? That's it, guys. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silver Hound. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my content and the video and the channel if you haven't done so already. Always looking for new supporters. So that's going to go ahead and wrap things up. So you go, guys go out there and do your damn thing. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys on the next video. Best of luck in your hunts. See ya.